Good afternoon, Word of Grace family. Today is Tuesday, June the 30th, 2020, and welcome to today's edition of Five Minutes of Encouragement. Now, as usual, the scriptures that I reference during this talk will be in the description box of this video. I ask that you both like and share this hashtag five minutes of encouragement. So today, family, we're going to continue what we were talking about on Sunday in establishing normal kingdom of heaven operations here on the earth. And today's talk is giving resources necessary for continuing or for establishing kingdom of heaven operations. You remember on Sunday, I said that Jesus never spoke of a quote unquote miracle. The word that he used in the Greek was, was given to us as miracle, but that word dunamen is more accurately translated or interpreted as the power of God. And that family is normal kingdom of heaven operations. And we've been educated out of it. We've been, um, we've been trained to turn a blind eye to it. It is exactly the same as if you had a time device and traveled backwards in time to say a time when uh, the Philistines or, or even prior to that group of people, back to the time of Abram, even before Abram became Abraham, if you travel back to that time with this device, you would be a magician. You would be someone supernatural. And for those who don't know, this is very special because for those of us who periodically have to uh, use the barbecue, <laughs> and I'm gonna say this, for those of us who like to go back to caveman days when we use charcoal rather than a gas grill, gas grill, nothing wrong with it, but I do like that charcoal flavor. It needs to be lighted. If you were to take that device back to then, you'd be considered to be a magician or a magi or something like that. If you had that device and you were in 1870s or so in Salem, Massachusetts, you'd be burned at the stake as a witch. It's all because the level of knowledge wasn't there for that level of technology. What you and I have to do is to reset our thinking more in line with that of the kingdom of heaven. And because our, our thinking needs to be reset or because it hasn't been reset, we haven't been looking forward to nor experiencing the kingdom of heaven's power here on the earth. So as I mentioned today, we're looking at resources necessary for us to establish normal kingdom of heaven operations here in Northern Virginia. How do we do that? So glad you asked. The verse that we looked at that was our, I'm gonna call it our linchpin verse from Sunday was Acts 1038. I'll put that on the screen for you, but it reads like this. How God anointed Jesus with the Holy Spirit and power who went about doing good, healing all those who were oppressed by the devil. And so I, I wanted to point out something there. It says that the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost, depending on which translation you're reading, and power. What Luke is not doing is talking about two separate anointings. So because he's not talking about two separate anointings and in our English language, it kind of looks like that. I rewrote that verse to read this way. And again, before I, before I put that up on the screen, I wanna make sure everyone knows, my Word of Grace family, I know you guys know this, but I'm not trying to quote unquote rewrite scripture. I'm not touching the original Hebrew or the original Greek, but what I am doing is, is retranslating certain phrases to bring it into the, today's uh, way of speaking. So that's what I did with Acts 10.38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. So I rewrote that to say, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit, who is the power of God, who went about doing good, healing all those who are oppressed by the devil. Now, that last part of the verse didn't really like that either. Again, not touching the original Greek text, but retranslating it, bringing it into today's way of speaking. It says, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit, 
who is the power of God, who went about doing good, healing all those who are oppressed by the devil. And then we, we added this or we, we rewrote it or reinterpreted that this way. And he went about establishing normal kingdom of heaven operations here on the earth. Family, that is so important for you and I. That is so important for us to have that mindset. I'm going to I'm going to actually tangle your brains here for one moment with one question. How did Jesus teach his disciples or what did did, did Jesus teach his disciples to do in order to uh, handle or 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 to deal with unanswered prayers. He didn't because that's not what, <laughs> I'm sorry, that was never written into the program. Unanswered prayers was never written into the program. You and I were designed to always have our prayers answered. The answer prayers according to Jesus brings glory to the Father. Particularly when we know the word, when we know how the kingdom of heaven is supposed to operate here on the earth. The Bible tells us in Paul's epistles that you and I are ambassadors for Christ. What is an ambassador? An ambassador is a representative of a nation, for example, the U.S. ambassador to, say, Sudan, or the U.S. ambassador to uh, pick any third world country. You might Not that Sudan is a third world country, but pick any third world country that you want. An ambassador is the one that the U.S. has selected to go represent the president of the U.S. in that country. Let me ask you, does the ambassador of the United States live like the people in the country to which he's an ambassador? No, we export the U.S.'s lifestyle. We export U.S. materials. We export our way of lifeing there, there and set up uh, on a piece of ground there, a piece of property, a place that is considered to be the U.S. soil and on that U.S. soil, he lives as though he is in the United States or she. You and I are ambassadors for Christ. The place, every place that the f sole of your feet treads is now kingdom of heaven soil. And so you're supposed to bring with you the realities of that kingdom. How do you do that? The kingdom of heaven isn't meat or drink. It isn't the way that you act or how you address problems or how you try to show that you're so righteous and holy. No, it is righteousness, peace, and joy. Where? In the realm called the Holy Spirit. So everywhere you go with the Holy Spirit family, you bring the kingdom reality with you. And we need to expect it because if we don't expect it, we won't call for it. If we don't expect it, we won't demand it. If we, won't, if we don't expect it, we can't proclaim it over the lives of people that we meet. That's your job. That's my job. And are we going to be perfect at it? I'm going to say, no, it's funny. <laughs> you know, just because you don't make a hundred, just because you don't ace every test, does that mean you stop taking tests? No, I, I have taken a lot of tests and I've not aced them all. But even if you know you make a 98 or 99 or a 78 or a 79, no matter what you make, that doesn't pull you out of the batter's box. You still have to stand and take the next pitch. So what do you do? You go back to the source, just like we discussed on Sunday. You go back to the source, back to the Father and say, Father, I know I missed it. Your word is true. I am a representative. How do I address this in the future? A failure doesn't change your assignment. A failure should draw you closer to the one who gave you the assignment so that you can fully display the realities you were sent here to display. Family, this has been today's edition of Five Minutes of Encouragement. Now, as usual, I absolutely love and adore you. But more importantly, Jesus loves you. Go make it a great day. We'll see you back here tomorrow.